G'day, how you going? This is Ian Harris from Australia here. This is a short little video of a lot of people, I find it happens with me sometimes. You've done a painting, you've finished it, and you're looking at it and it's just not quite right. So you want to fine tune it. So this little video is about fine tuning a video. So I've picked the painting that I've done here of my lonely jetty. Now, I'm, I'm happy with it, but I'm just not quite happy with this area over here. So I want to muck around with it and play with it so as I can get it to the state when I'm sitting back and looking at it I'm really happy with it okay so I've grabbed my little brush that I'm going to use I've just got some white paint here some titanium white I'm not putting much in the brush because I just want to finally fix around the moon here so I'm not happy with this purple bit in front of the moon okay so I haven't put much on that brush. I'm putting it across the moon. I'm going to cover that purple up like so. I'll wipe my brush and I'm going to smear that just to cover that purple up and look like a, a bit of a misty cloud in front of the moon instead of that purple bit. Now it's probably going to pick up some of that purple underneath if it does, I'm not worried because it's just going to put some shadow into this cloud. So you've really got to dry the paint off there because you don't want it to get real thick and gluggy. You want it real whispery, thin and smoky and like someone's commented before, like whipped butter, or whipped cream. Well, that's looking a bit better. Just to me, it just looked wrong having that purple in front of the the moon so I'm just buggerizing around with that now that's looking a bit better it's sunken the moon back now over here I want a bit more detail in this smoky misty cloud here that hasn't quite got it so I'll sort of twirl my brush around the way I want it I'm wiping it and I'm blending that back into the phalo blue I've used in this paint and sometimes you can squint your eyes look back and you realize yeah that's turned out the way you want it okay because I don't want just a, a bunch of clouds hovering around the moon there you sort of got to spread your your bit out now looking in the camera there this looks a bit dark and oddbally there as well so I'll kind of fix this bit of purple up in front of the moon there I'll lighten it down so this white that I'm putting on top I'm just sort of smearing and blending around over that dioxine purple that I've had onto the painting and it's just lightening the temperament of it because my opinion I painted the picture it's my painting and I don't want it looking that way so I want to change it regardless what people might think or say it's how I feel about my painting and that's what you need to do as well when you do a painting if you're happy with it that's all that matters don't worry about what other people might say if you're happy with it that's the main thing all right that's looking better now in the process of doing this I've sort of lost some of the edge to my moon so I will be fixing that back up I'm going to put a bit over this blue here as well I can see very lightly dancing over it wipe that brush because it's so fair, fair edged the edge is flared out and it's pretty dry and you can turn that into light soft clouds in front of your moon and the brush that I'm using has got quite stiff stubborn bristles on it so it can get right in there now what I will do is grab another smaller brush and I will get the edge back into this moon alrighty find your appropriate brush you want to use to fix your piece up with I'm happy with this little flat air one I'm just sharpening up the edge outline of my moon with the white coming down here where I've lost some of it and blending it back in underneath the cloud there 
Just so things don't look like they're floating on each other, they sort of look the way they're supposed to. And that's what makes you happy with your picture once you've fine-tuned it. I, I call this fine-tuning it anyway. You might have the same understanding but a different name for it, okay? Okay, I'm just looking at the clouds here. I want a bit more fine-tuned detail around here somewhere just to give this cloud the look that it's in front of what's already there, just like that. And maybe some here. They're just very little work I'm doing, but it's just enough to make yourself happy with the tuning up you're doing to your piece, okay? I'm just putting the finest highlights around the jetty here, just on bits of the rope. I'm using the edge of my flat brush just to get the finest pieces where I want some of the light from the moon probably hitting against the jetty, so to speak. And all these finest litless lines, they can make the utmost difference to a painting. Where are we? Let's see these posts here. Just want the finest highlight down the edge of these posts here. But try not get caught in the trap of doing too much. I have a habit of doing that. And I need to practice what I preach. All right, we'll put a little bit here. Just the finest. Because it's an old broken jetty. It's really buggered. It's, it's had its days. Now I've got myself a little round brush, a little pointy brush. I'll put some white on it and I'm probably going to just dab some particular stars in that night sky. They're probably, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. Over here. Just the finest details, all these little things make a difference to your work. Sometimes it's frustrating you do a painting and you finish it and you think it's not right. Well it doesn't have to be finished, you can keep going at it. Even you don't have to be quick at it, just take your time with it. Take your time and make your piece of art a masterpiece. Where else can I oh, see? I've sort of looked for these dark spots here. Put some stars in there. Sometimes it's good to group a few up. I'm not going to the extent of splattering them on. It's just a little tuning up, this is. That's all it is. Now in this process, I sort of put a bit too much white here, so I want to go back and cover some of it up. Try not to overdo things like this. Sometimes you're best off doing that little bit and then leaving it alone, but it's so easy to get caught up and keep going and going and going. Does having darks in the right spot help a, help a painting? Maybe. Now I've got my script liner. Now, I like the ropes I've got coming off the jetty here, and I feel I want something sort of maybe on this one, just sort of hanging down. There. And maybe, how's that looking? Probably put another one about here. And then I want to 
give it the lightest highlight as well. All right, I've got a bit of white on there. Now I'm going in to make it look like that rope is in there and just lightly get it across the top there. Just something like that. And then we'll make it look like it's being wrapped around. Just finish this off like a little bit of highlight on this piece here. That's pretty much it. Okay, I'm pretty much happy with that now. I've fine tuned it up the way I wanted to let you know what I wanted to do. Now the good thing about a painting, you can put a frame on it. And it always dresses them up, so we'll see how it looks in a frame. Yeah, the frame definitely finishes it off, it dresses it up. So that's it. I've just sort of fixed up the cloud around me moon, put a few stars in the sky, and did a bit more fine detailing around the lonely jetty. Well, that's the end of this short little video. I told you it was only going to be a short one, so hope you like that. Tell a friend. Tell everybody if you don't like what I do, though. Steve, Steve's going to say goodbye to you as well. Oh, I don't think he likes my gloves. All right. Goodbye, good luck. Good on you.